So we got our 2012 BMW 750Li all-wheel drive. Today we're going to be changing the turbocharger coolant pump, which would be this guy here, which apparently it's already been out at least once before, giving that that's supposed to be a torque screw and that one's missing. But uh, it's not a very difficult process. First thing you do is drain this out as best you can. Now it's got a, like a little slow relief in there, so when you drain it out, and get it all empty, it kind of bleeds a little bit back in over time. So I usually just take about five minutes to make sure I get as much as I can out of that. Uh, we got this side disconnected already. And uh, we're going to be disconnecting this and this. We're just going to pull this over here, set it here, and uh, this is attached to the side of it. So that's going to come up with the bottle. And we're going to push this around the this side of the hose so that we can pull this bottle up and set it kind of off to the side over here. And then we can get to this lower hose here. Now I believe, I'll show you when I get there, yeah this one has one of these type clamps and then the other hose attached to it going down has that squeeze clamp right there, right there in front of my finger, yeah. So what we're going to do is once we get all this out and out of the way and I get that squeeze clamp pushed down. I'm going to put a clamp on that hose to keep the coolant from coming out of it. And uh, this one should be pretty much drained. I don't. Well, actually, I think last time I did this, I put my finger on the bottom of the pump when I pulled it up. And then I just held it up here and let it drain back out. I think I drained it into a cup or something once I let my finger off of it or something. But uh, I'll motion that when we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause get this taken care of and I will come back so as you can see I got that out of the way pushed off to the side now remember when you pull, pick this up like this it's going to drain some fluid down it. so when you initially take this off there might not be anything come out but when you pick it up like this that fluid is going to drain back down it's going to start trying to pour out here so you want to make sure you cap that and you also want to be careful of this as you can see there's just some fluid right there it's going to start pouring out of there so if you have something to cap it okay if not make sure you have some rags to soften it up get it out of the way just set it up like that that's fine now the pump is loose and i got the clamp slid down i like to use these long needle nose straight pliers that work pretty good for that just get a good squeeze on it wiggle your clamp down and then i got these hose clamp pliers here blocking that lower pipe off and if you don't have these type of pliers that's fine just take a pair of needle nose vice grips like this wrap some black tape around the jaw so that your teeth don't shred your hose and clamp down and close the hose now you don't need to clamp down really tight like you're trying to hold a bolt so just enough that you can tell that both sides of the walls are touching each other and blocking the stuff off um, you still are going to have a little bit of drain But not a much, just between that hose here and that clamp off hose down there. Um, so you're going to try and wiggle that bottom hose. Uh, if you have a pair of uh, hose pliers, they look like this. They would probably help, but normally this hose breaks loose pretty easily. Uh, and then you're just going to pull that up and you're just going to pull the whole thing out. Uh, don't forget that down the bottom. It's an electrical connector that runs the pump. Before you pull it all the way out, you need to disconnect that. You should be able to reach around the back side and disconnect that. You might need two hands for that, so I'm going to pause again. Because you're going to have to uh, obviously squeeze the tab on a connector and get it pushed out, pulled out. And then you can uh, pull the whole pump out. Then I'll show you how to not only release 
this clamp but be able to reuse it so back in a second right so as you can see we have the pump out this is the pump that we are changing Come down there see no coolant coming out we got that clamped off this one's still clamped off just a little bit comes out and you want to try and point that away from the belts as much as possible you don't want to any freeze on the serpentine belt now it looks like this pump's been off and this clamp has been reused before as you can see now this unless somebody just over squeeze it at the factory but it should be more like that one either way we may still be able to reuse this, we may not. But the way you get to reuse them is you take a small flat head like this, and you should be able to get in here like this and pry them apart. And just kind of work it, wiggle it, work it, get it apart, spread it out some. Sometimes you can even get it to where it spreads out, and you can pull this off without unclipping it right here. but basically that's how you're going to change it and we're going to get this off put the new one on and uh, everything else is pretty much reverse order so not too bad and uh, here's your plug three wire plug that you have to get off I took this off before I took this hose off there's not a lot of wire to work with so you want to be careful not to pull on it too hard you just push this tab on the back side here and just kind of work it and work it and wiggle it off until you can actually get it off uh, but that's pretty much it and I know that there's a uh, recall on these pumps in some years so you might want to check before you go ahead and purchase one you might get it fixed for free but uh, even after the recalls there's still these pumps still fail uh, not super common obviously after the recall but they still do fail as obviously this one is not under the recall when we're having to do it but uh, it's not too terrible difficult job and uh, you don't lose a whole lot of coolant so if you get like a one quart maybe of concentrate you could refill this whole thing and be plenty uh, no big issue there but uh but that's it 2012 uh, 750 li all-wheel drive turbo charger auxiliary coolant pump replacement thanks for watching